Do you want to make more birdies? I'm going to take you through a couple of holes here at Tower Links and show you how you can do just that. Sometimes you've got to step up to the plate and be a little bit more aggressive. Being safe isn't always the option. I'm Dave McKinnon, PGA professional. What I mean about stepping up to the plate is sometimes you've got to take on the shot when that opportunity arises. I'm going to play down here, the 17th at Tower Links. If I play the hole as the crow flies, it's a traditional dog leg to the right. I can hit my tee shot 200 yards and then I've got a 180 shot, yard shot into the green, which is perfectly fine. Or I can take it over the corner because I know up the right is wide open. So I can get this a lot closer to the green and stats prove the nearer I am to the green, the better chance I've got of getting it nearer to the flag, which will result in a better chance of making birdies. So I'm going to play one hole as Mr. Boring Golfer straight down the middle and one hole as just stepping up to the plate golfer and taking on the challenge. Let's see how we go. Okay, so we're gonna go with Mr. Safe to start with. So, like I said, it's a traditional dog leg to the right. I need to hit this shot anywhere between 180 and 220 to get me past the angle to leave me a shot into the green, which is a bit of a longer shot, but that's where I'm gonna play this shot through. So I'm gonna use a crossover three and I'm just gonna put it right down the middle of the fairway and see how we go. Okay, so what I've done there, I've, I've hit it, pretty good shot there, down the middle, pretty much position where the hole should be played. But now I'm gonna go a little bit out of my comfort zone and go hunting for some birdies. Okay, so up the right, over the trees here, commit to the swing. I know there's room so I can commit and give myself a chance. Okay, so that's in a pretty good position, I think. I took on the shot, let's go and see where we go from there. Okay, so I've come to Mr. Safe's ball and I hit a really good tee shot there. I hit two really good tee shots actually. So I hit, hit this one. If I look down there, you'll see Mr. Opportunity is over 100 yards further down. So my chances now of getting that nearer have gone massively up and I've got a better chance of creating more birdies. Still in a good position, but my chance of making birdie from this position as opposed to that position has dropped. I'm 153 yards out. So I'm gonna, still going to try and make birdie from this position. So I'm going to put it in the middle of the green, let the wind see if I can drift it back. I'm going with a nine iron. Let's see how we go. So he had a pretty good shot in there. So let's go down to Mr. Opportunity and see how close he can get it. Okay, so we find ourselves down at Mr. Opportunity's ball. We had a 90 yard gain on Mr. Safe off the tee. Mr. Safe hit a really nice shot in there. Well, Mr. Opportunity now, he's gonna pop this in nearer because he is so much closer. The advantage is now on his side. So let's throw one in and give ourselves a chance for birdie. Okay, let's go up there and see how they look. Okay, so we're on the green, both regulation golf. You can see Mr. Safe is at the back. Mr. Opportunity is a whole lot nearer and his chances now of making putts have gone further and further up. Because I was coming in from a longer distance, I, I didn't hold it as well, it, it, so it just went out a little bit. So I've got a birdie putt, but the chances of making that putt have gone, have dropped a lot. So I'm still gonna give it a go. I'm still gonna try and make the birdie, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so from this distance, it's still a birdie opportunity, but the chances of holding the putt from this distance at any level of golfer are quite low. So I'm thinking two putts, make par, let's move off. If it goes in, it's a bonus. What I don't want, certainly don't wanna be doing is making three putts, but the chance is there and we'll give it a go. Good effort. So I'm at Mr. Opportunity now. Now this is a good opportunity of a birdie. So what I don't want to do is freeze under that opportunity. I'm still, it's just one shot. I'm just one putt. So if this was on the putting green, you'd think, well, I could hold this. You can't get into the mantle, oh, this is for birdie, because that is going to then affect how you hit the shot. You don't want to take any more time. You want to take less time. You just want to approach exactly as you would every other shot. So you go through the process and don't take any more time or thoughts over what you're doing. Just let it go. So you commit to the shot. You've got a better chance of making this because you're a whole lot nearer, but we're going to give it a chance. Happy days. So Mr. Safe will tap this in. 
So both holes played well, nice and solid, but we had an opportunity. Yeah, it was a putt that went in. It was a nice putt, well held, but the opportunity was there to do that. They're not always going to drop in, but the opportunity's there. You're knocking on the door all the time. So sometimes by just having that little bit of aggression and stepping up to the plate, gives you that chance of making more birdies. Let's go on to number 18. If you want more tip videos that will help you improve at golf, make sure you hit the subscribe button and press all on the notifications bell. Okay, so we're here on the 18th at Tower Links, par five, it's 500 yards, dog leg left, quite a fierce dog leg left. Uh, so I'm gonna play as Mr. Safe. There's bunkers up there, both sides of the fairway. So I'm gonna play a club that's not gonna get me to that trouble. And I'm gonna play this as a three shotter, how it should be played. Okay, let's give it a go. So I know that I'm taking the right club here, that even if I hit it a little bit left or a little bit right, I'm not gonna reach the bunkers. So I'm still gonna have that second shot to line me up for my third shot onto the green. Okay, that's in pretty good shape. I'm ready for my second shot to let me in for a third shot into the green. But let's see how Mr. Opportunity goals. Because when I do look at this, I do see it as a par five. It is reachable for, and the fairway is quite wide. So I've got a chance if I can hit a good committed swing, I know I'm opening that window again for an opportunity for a birdie. So let's give it a go. So I'm gonna hit this up the right side, let it ride a little bit on the wind. Gives me a bit more chance with my, my shape anyway, and it'll give me a shorter second shot to find that green in two. That's in good shape, and it'll give me a chance to go for the green in two shots. So I'm at Mr. Safe's ball. He's a perfect shot. I was never going to reach the bunkers, so I knew I had the right club. And as you can see up there, there's Mr. Opportunity's ball. And yeah, he did bring the bunkers into play, but I could fancy myself of stepping up to the plate. I thought there was enough room, so it was time to take that challenge on and think, yeah, if I commit to the shot, I'm opening that window up for opportunity. In this position now, I've got 250 yards all over water. It's not a shot that I want to be taking on. So I'm going to take this as a three-shotter, still give myself a chance of a birdie, but we're going to go and play it as the hole should be played. So we're going to play it down the fairway with a little seven iron, leave ourselves a short shot in over the water. That's in good shape, ready to go again. Okay, so I'm at Mr. Opportunity's ball now. So again, we knew the bunkers could come into play, but we fancied our chances of taking that on. We've left ourselves 191 yards on this par five. I'm gonna go in with six iron. There's plenty of room right at the flag. So as long as I hit this over 170, I'm over the water and I'm still giving myself that chance of birdie. So a good committed swing, I'm taking the shot on and it'll give us a chance of making four on here. Okay, so I think that's just found the fringe there. So that should be pretty good position to give ourselves a chance of a birdie. Okay, so we're at Mr. Safe's ball now. Put himself in perfect position to play it as a three shotter and give himself an opportunity. If you look up there, you'll see that Mr. Opportunity has actually found the front bunker, but he's cleared all the trouble and hopefully should still give himself a chance of a birdie. But let's go with Mr. Safe and put three shots onto the, uh, onto the green. So a little bit safe there, a little bit long, but two puts for par. Not in any trouble, not in any drama, all the way down the hole. We put out new videos every lunchtime on Golf Mate's Facebook page. Make sure you head over there and press the follow button. Okay, so we found ourselves in the bunker here with Mr. Opportunity's ball. But it's a fairly straightforward bunker shot, so should still give ourselves a chance of a birdie. Pop that out, gives ourselves a chance of a birdie. And again, still giving ourselves more chance than Mr. Safe by putting it so much closer to the hole by being nearer with two shots. Okay, so we're with Mr. Safe now again, safely in the, in the green. A really, really big outside chance of birdie, but two puts, par, hopefully, and off we go. As you look down there, you'll see that Mr. Opportunities Ball is so much nearer and give himself that much more per higher percentage of making birdies. So 
pretty good putt, good pace. Pretty much guaranteed a par. So played them two holes with Mr. Safe as really solid golf. But they were both real outside chances of birdies. This one, we, we stepped up to the plate a little bit and give ourselves better opportunities. So let's see how we go with this. This is Mr. Opportunity for another birdie. So there you go. Doesn't always work like that, unfortunately, but uh, it just shows the opportunity, the chances that you get. Them puts aren't always gonna drop in. Yeah, we hold two decent puts for birdies, but the opportunity was there. And that's what the, the message we're trying to get over to you is sometimes take on that challenge, give it a go. So don't be too frightened, don't be Mr. Safe on the golf course. Sometimes wait up, take on that, step up to the plate and give it a go. Okay, I've been Dave McKinnon. I hope you've enjoyed those tips of how to make more birdies. Comment below, give us a thumbs up, tell us how you're getting on. Have a look at the other videos that are also out there for you. And remember, it's not always cool to play safe.